Darwin had a, an answer to the question of how life started on Earth. His answer was that there was a warm little pond somewhere mm -hmm. and uh, there was a kind of a soup of organic chemicals in it and that's how it started. Mm -hmm. And actually we haven't got very much further in articulating the answer. Mm -hmm. um, organic chemicals are made everywhere um, by natural processes. They're made in space even let alone here on Earth. And so they, they float around in space and they're even delivered to the Earth. When comets crash onto the Earth, they bring with them organic chemicals. So plenty of organic chemicals. Knitting all those things together into, the, into life and changing from just chemicals into organized organisms that can then develop and, um, and, and live and so on is a, a problem that people are addressing and haven't, haven't, haven't understood. We don't even know exactly where on Earth life started. We live here on the surface of the Earth where it's nice and bright and sunny, lots of energy around, comfortable environment and temperature, liquid water. We think this is the ideal place for life to have started because it's the ideal place for life like us to live. Um, we know that life exists elsewhere on, in environments on Earth. For example, it lives at the bottom of the ocean. Um, and if you go down to black smokers and hydrothermal vents down in the bottom of the ocean, there's, they're teeming with life too. So you might think life started up here on the surface and it fell down into the areas of the hydrothermal vents. But there's some evidence in um, some of the older um, organisms, the organisms that have been around on Earth for a long time, there's some evidence in the way they work that actually life started down near those vents in the bowels of the dark depths of the ocean, taking energy from the hydrothermal vents and developing and then floating up to the surface where it took off. So, yes, there was a warm little pond somewhere, as Darwin is talking, but if it was a warm little pond here on the surface of the Earth or a warm, deep pond down in the bowels of the ocean, a bit hard to say. Mm -hmm. The process by which it evolved, that's a bit easier to talk about because that's Darwinian evolution, and mm -hmm. as, as Dawkins says, you know, evolution makes everything possible. But that moment where the spark comes that changes the inanimate to the animate, mm. that's a difficult thing to get a hold of.